In this video, I'm going to instruct on how to create an RFQ or request for quote and also how to create a purchase requisition. To start with, I'm on the RFQ screen. I got there by clicking on this icon. I'll click the new button. Most of my fields auto populated based on my user ID. I'll select a vendor. And I will pick an equipment item that this will be used for. And I'll go ahead and use the search parts screen. Alright, so I would like to request a quote for 10 of these stainless bolts. and we'll add that item. Okay, so after I add the item I need to make sure I click Save to actually create the quote. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm picking the items I want to quote for and then I'm adding them down here. Now I could also type in a new item and add it. So it doesn't have to be something that's already in stock. Alright, so I'll go ahead and save that and here we have quote number two. So I can print this quote and then email it to the vendor. And if I just want my vendors, I could pick them from here. I can go ahead and email this. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can do that. And then once I get my quoted price back, I can go to this third tab, select the quote, enter the quoted price each and save the pricing. Okay, so now I have the quote with a quoted uh, price on it from the vendor. Now that I have the quote, I can actually convert the quote into a requisition right from this screen. Now there are four different ways to create purchase requisitions in MateSmart. Here's one of them. I'll select the item and I'll click Add to Requisition. Okay, that's all there is to it. So I'll go ahead and close the request for quote screen. Now I'm going to go to the requisition screen. Here's the one I just created, requisition number three. Here's the items and the quoted amount and the vendor and so on. Okay, so we can print this requisition from here. and we could also email this to our approvers if needed. Alright, a couple of the other ways to create requisitions. One is from the hot sheet. If you have items that are below minimum stock, it looks like, well, there's one that is, we can select that, right click, create requisition, and MateSmart will create a requisition for that item automatically. Okay, so we just added another requisition. We can go to the requisition screen and we see that we do have requisition number four now also. Okay, so that's two of the three ways. And of course, you can always create a requisition directly from here. So that's three of, uh, three of four ways, actually. And the fourth way is from the inventory tree. Now, I'm not going to go in there right now and create one from there, but the inventory tree is available from the requisition and I believe the uh, inventory setup screen. So essentially what you do is you just go in and create requisition and find the items that are under minimum stock, drag them over here and then click create requisition and that'll also create a requisition automatically. Okay so once we have the requisition what we need to do next is get the items approved. Now the approval levels were instructed on in a previous video so I'm not going to go over that, but let's go into the approval screen. And this is where we want to be. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll just select one of these. Requisition number two, select the item. And the program saying, well, we have one signature required, none obtained. <clears throat> yeah, 
let me grab that and we'll go ahead and click approved and since that's the only item on the requisition uh, the program is prompting us to release this to purchasing okay so in the next video we'll continue with the requisition item approval process as well as uh, creating POs.